The main colors for the sky are going to be the whispering turquoise that we just used, the blue chiffon. Uh, we're gonna take a uh, titanium white with a tiny bit of the cut yellow and the uh, ultra blue deep. Start by putting the drying time extender everywhere. And I'm gonna start by putting the whispering turquoise back in there. It's okay if you go over the raw umber. Then instantly I'm gonna take a tiny bit of this um, ultra blue dip with that color and put it only on the top. It's okay if I go over my, my raw umber. We can always put back the raw umber. Then I'm gonna go to the whispering turquoise plus the chiffon and start making this lighter. And then more of the chiffon blend it with the turquoise. The last part will be the chiffon plus the white and I put too much on my brush. That's okay, you take a paper towel and you take the excess from here and then you can blend easily. After you have it this stage, if you want you can put some um, clouds but um, we don't want to cover the whole sky and this is there's not uh, too much sky showing so I'm gonna put minimal clouds in here. Let's just uh, leave it like that. I'm gonna dry these, but before I dry it, just gonna take a clean brush and try to remove a tiny bit this with a clean brush. And we'll be right back. The, before I dry the, that section in there, I wanna start making the water and the water is going to be lighter in here and darker as it goes down because there's a lot of um shadows from the trees in here there's also shadows from the trees at the top i'm going to take a smaller brush i was using a size 24 and i'm going down to a size 20. this is plantation pine foliage green and black green and I have the colors that I put in the sky and I'm just going to make lines like these, horizontal lines and for example, let's start with the colors of the sky the sky also reflects on the water we probably should put also in, in the water let's also put some of the blending gel which is the prime time extender it is lighter at the top like I said and then darker at the bottom and that's okay, we're gonna put some trees in there. So sometimes I pick up some of these other colors. So I'm just gonna show you and you can see what colors I am choosing from here. So I do not want to have the water done until I have all the things that I'm making reflections because I wanna put the things and then I wanna put up the reflection underneath so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna do this uh dry these so that i can put the f the back foliage so let's do those background trees with um chewy foliage brush and we're gonna put it in here and it has to be a uh, blue it has to have so let's take a tiny bit of the dark blue plus the um blue strain turquoise and um the uh chief on blue and a tiny bit of the plantation pine not too much we're gonna try first to see what color we have um hmm maybe 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 we should have put the um, line in there i think i'm gonna put a tiny bit more of the plantation pine and make it uh, more into the green and i'm going to put, put it has to be more solid at the bottom and fluffier at the top so i'm gonna do that outside of camera and put it up to here up to here and we'll be right back let me go a tiny bit closer and show it to you so i need to put more coloring here because I don't have enough left but um, I'm doing stippling and that is what I'm doing in there I'm gonna put it all the way to the end and we'll be right back so now I'm gonna take the color of the water and tiny bit put a tiny bit of water like that in there I'm gonna completely dry trace all the rest of the, the remainder of the pattern let's go these two sections with burn umber plus black let's do some floating uh, so put some black I'm gonna um, take some of the, that burnt umber also so that I can um, mix that in there. This is burnt umber, another raw umber that I have in there. Raw umber plus black. 
We are just going to, I don't know if you can see it because I'm not seeing it well in the, yeah, because of the reflections. Let me do it this way. So I'm going to go again to the black and do another and blend with that uh, Burn Umber Plus Black. I'm going to let, let this dry because if you go over the same area, you mess up what you have done before. So that's what I'm going to do. This is another, there's another cheating in here. Take the number plus black and blend it in there. Probably have to use a different brush. This brush is not a good brush for canvas. It's just what I was, I'm trying to do is start creating some shading in the piece with the black. And then later on, I'm going to try to eliminate those uh, graphite lines that I created. Black again. And this is just a starting point. This is not the right brush, and I'm just damaging this brush by using it in here. But um, I don't know if you saw what I did in there. And let's put some on this side, and we're gonna make let this dry again. So I probably want to change this brush. This side is even darker than that side. Let's change to one of the canvas brushes and. I don't, I don't want to lose the lines that I have in here, so I'm just going to put it like this. I'm going to leave some um, lines so that I can see those lines. Starting to darken this area, because this one is darker than the other one. I have to use a smaller brush for this one, this side. I'm running out of, out of paint, so... So these are the colors that I have in here. Um, Hoser Medium Green, Plantation Pine, Blue Chiffon, Whispering Turquoise, Soft Black, and Burn Umber. So those are the colors that I have in there. And I'm going to paint the trees at the top. And for that, I'm going to use a flat number 8 in here. And I'm going to start with um, Hauser Medium Green plus Whispering Turquoise. And I'm going to base the, the, the tree with that. I'm going to try to cover those graphite lines. Then at the, um, at, I'm going to take um, the two greens. Let's take a tiny bit of the blue chiffon with this green. Blend that with this color. So sometimes I take more of the dark green and sometimes I take more of the light. And then at the bottom, I start taking the sticks of black and burnt umber at the bottom. It's probably more into the soft black than the burnt umber. And I think you have to go all the way to black. Black plus soft black. Let's highlight a tiny bit on this side. And then that highlight. Uh, make sure that you have dark underneath. So let's take the soft black. And you probably will need um, to have some of the, um, what do you call the drying time extender. And then let's take some of the green plus the soft black. We need to put more dark in here, so let's put more of the extender in here. And let's start putting that uh, soft black plus the, the green in here too. Put more of the, of the black, also black. Clean the brush and then go into the, into the, the blue colors and let's put some of the greens too. And let's put some of the light blue. I need to have some of the lighter color, but for now, black plus soft black. We can play more with the water later, and um, we're gonna continue all the tracing here, and we'll be right back. Let's bring some branches with a script liner and soft black plus black, and um, I already put this in here, and let's put others skinnier. Water, so black plus black. Oop, that was too too large in there. See if I can make it skinnier with a liner. I mean with a flat and clean that area in there before it dries. I think I'm gonna stop. Um, maybe one more. I think I'm um, gonna leave it like this and um, I'm gonna start to put some greenery. Let me call you. Let me tell you the colors that I have in here. I have the Hauser medium green, the plantation pine, then this light one is pistachio mint and this other one is Irish moss. And I'm gonna use a um, bristle fan brush. I'm wetting it and I am going to stipple some foliage in here. A lot of foliage. So I'm gonna start um, 
let's see let's start with a medium color let's start with the uh mix these two colors in here and we are going to start making it in here let's do it uh on a corner of the brush uh, do this color all the way down and we will need to clean this later it doesn't matter where the branches are just put um this color and then we're gonna put a, a lighter one we have to clean later the the brown section okay don't worry about it you can do like that okay once you have a tiny bit of this color let's go to the irish moth with a dirty brush and maybe let's go put some of that um the light blue and that's not the right color so i'm gonna clean it let's go to the two light colors in there that's better that's better but now we lost all the um, this is gonna be on the on the light area which is in here in the middle and then um some brown in there let's fix this area because it's too um solid and we need some darker colors so let's take the black green the plantation plant plus black and make a, black, a darker green this is too solid in there so whatever is too solid you have to put more foliage so i'm gonna clean the brush and fix the areas that i need to fix like for example let's bring some more of the highlights with the two light colors a tiny bit remember the light is on the center then when it goes up then you have to go to the other color this need to be a different color i'm gonna bring some evergreen which is um it's a bluish color and bring some that are gonna be more into the blue side here and there some of these um more into the, the blue side let's break this it's too solid in there okay so i i don't like that area in there so now i'm gonna work on areas that i need to work on for example let's um let's make a lighter color with um i'm blending these two colors in here and making a lighter color maybe a tiny bit of that uh plantation pine just that, so that i can break this in here it's too solid for my taste so i wanna also break also this in here but there's light in there so let's bring some light in the brush and bring some light and that's um see some of this irish moss and a tiny bit of the light in here okay and then i'm gonna take some of the this is too white in there so let's take some of the plantation pine and then um lighter color and that's this is the last thing that i'm gonna do I'm blending the Irish moss plus the pistachio mint and make sure I don't have too much in the brush and gently in the middle. So I was testing the colors. Um, on this side, I have bright orange and antique gold. And I'm just going to do it this way because there's no easier way to do this. Uh, so I have the soft black, soft black, and sometimes I can put black and make it um, stronger. So we're just going to make lines. And sometimes uh, they're going to be, like for example, in here, it's going to be more of that uh, gold color with the with the burnt umber so put the umber and sometimes you put black lines and you can use a liner too but start with a base coat this is so i have in my palette this is the orange bright orange this is the antique gold and the same colors that i had before the burnt umber and the soft black and the black those are the colors and then for this blue color which i'm still um trying to deal with it i'm using the bluegrass plus the pistachio mint and the evergreen and sometimes i can put a little bit more of the chiffon blue and because this is going to be turquoise on this side and and it is like that in the photo we'll see when we're done uh if we need to quiet that a tiny bit when we're done we're gonna put a glaze of black but for now let's do this
So let's paint the little bird. And I put the eye with that, with a liner. And I am going to use this um, script liner. And I put uh, the, the beak with uh, bright orange plus um, the chiffon blue. And I am going to put a second coat with the bright orange. And the bird will be painted with burnt umber, soft black, white, and oyster beige. So let's start with the oyster beige. And I'm going to base coat, start base coating it with the oyster, oyster beige. Let's put here the oyster beige. Start shading on under those soft black plus the oyster beige, of course. Because I have oyster beige already on my hand. I don't know if you've seen what I'm doing there. And um, I'm going to start blending oyster beige, um, soft, um, soft black plus oyster beige in here. And then... I'm gonna go back to the to the oyster beige alone. Then I can highlight with the white. Oh, let's take burnt umber plus the bright orange dirty brush and paint the legs. I'm gonna dry this and we'll return. We are shading with soft black on the bottom section of the bird. Maybe this color is too dark, we'll see. Yeah, it is too dark. So let's take uh, soft black plus the oyster beige. And let's shade underneath the neck. And let's shade underneath the body. And let's shade a tiny bit on the top of the hump, on the top of the body. Now we're gonna uh, bring some white. Takes a liner and white, and let's make some uh, some line work and highlight him. This is the reason why we were using um, the oyster beige because we wanted the the white to show. Then let's take oyster beige plus white and highlight also the the lower section, but it's not gonna be should be not be as lighter as the top. Let's put some highlight with this color in the legs, any bit in the legs and in the eye, and then this color oyster beige plus white plus the um, orange, and then you can highlight also the beak. And there's not too much more on this third. You can also shade the legs. I don't know. I, um, I think the legs need a tiny bit shading. So let's take um, soft black plus um, oyster beige. And you can shade the legs. Oops. Took some green. Sorry. Now, the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take white. And I'm going to put stronger shines on this water. Especially closer to this bird. And that's gonna be it for I leave it here. Um, I think I want to put more of the green because of the green of here, but I have to be careful that I don't uh, mess up my and I already did in there. So what I'm gonna do, and I hope you like this project. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like it and what. And also please let me know in the comment what you wanna watch. I really wanna know. Uh, I think this is too dark and it needs a tiny bit more of color. So here is where I start to mess up my my piece. But well, let's see a tiny bit of burnt umber and dirty this a tiny bit. Soft black plus tiny bit of white. Whatever I have in there left in there I don't have too much and let's clean it and blend that a tiny bit in there only something in there to break the and that's right to light so let's go to black and blend that in there just you know something in there it doesn't have to be too much I think that's enough um so I'm gonna put a tiny bit more of greenery and I think I'm gonna put the evergreen and the um, foliage green. So let's bring and I'm just gonna use a liner. Maybe let's put a tiny bit of the of the drying time extender. Tiny bit in the water. See I'm gonna put it in here. Tiny bit more. And then let me put the the evergreen. The evergreen and the that or the foliage green. And I'm gonna put a liner and maybe do some line. And I'm gonna break that with a fan brush. And I'm not gonna do too much. Let's do the black plus the evergreen on the lower section. I need more of the evergreen. Oops. I don't see the evergreen. That seems to be too much. Let's go back to the um, color that was in there before. That's so ugly. So you don't like it, you know what, you take a paper towel and you clean it. So let's do the evergreen with the foliage green. I think that's going to be better. 
then go and move it down and I think that's enough in there because it's bringing too much green so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take some of these uh, the what I'm told you not to do and remember what I put it out here so um, bring it down a tiny bit like that and then you can bring some of the lighter colors the whispering turquoise see whispering turquoise and you can also bring that down I don't know if you see what I'm doing so for example this is the whispering turquoise that was too much probably too much so let's that was not whispering turquoise but it was and that was too light so it was the um, the other one so and I'm gonna clean it with the black and if you put too much you can put back maybe the evergreen let's put a tiny bit less but in here in this section there is a lot of black so if you you can put the black back so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a liner and put that um, like I did in here tiny bit of this and some of them, some of them you're going to take the fan brush, losing everything out here it is, and bring it down, okay? So I leave you playing with your piece and I'm going to put a photo for you. So this is the final piece. I'm going to put the line drawing for this on, the, on Patreon. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.